Night turns to day. The world begins to wake, prepared for another day of darkness. Creation has been in mourning for two long, cold, dark days. The women approach the tomb, tears on their cheeks, heaviness in their hearts, ready to mourn the loss of their friend and rabbi. But the tomb is empty. The first glimpse of sunlight is on the horizon. The women don't see it, their backs are turned in confusion. Though they've walked by the side of the Almighty and witnessed the miraculous, though Jesus told them all along that death could not hold him down, up until this point, resurrection has merely been a concept and not a reality. Why do you look for the living among the dead? He is not here, he has risen. The full implications of a risen Jesus begin to dawn. He's really who he always said he is. He's the son of God, the image of the invisible God, the way, the truth, the life. And if he's alive, what does that mean? It means hope. Hope is rising like the sun, breaking through the storm clouds of the grave. It means that the Father has made a way for us to be reconciled to him. Since the beginning in the garden, when the first children of God, made in his likeness, chose to turn their backs on their Father and walk in disobedience and sin, the void between creation and creator has been felt by both sides. Something had to be paid, had to be sacrificed to restore relationship and redeem us from wrongdoing. So the Father gave it all for us, for you. His love for us is unconditional, boundless, relentless. It seeks us out, chases us down with kindness and gentleness. It's forgiving. Jesus' blood was enough to pay for our sins past, present and future. The void has been crossed, the gap between man and God bridged. Death has been defeated, it's lost its sting. Sin has a claim on us no longer. We are children of light. Walking in a dark world, yes, full of injustice and brokenness and pain, but we have a choice. Will you turn towards the light? Will you walk with hope in the knowledge that he is making all things new? Salvation has come. We have been saved and set free drawn near to our Father. With daybreak comes a new way of living. It wasn't just Jesus' resurrection, it's yours too. He knows the depths of your heart and he loves you regardless. So he invites you to step into his light and let him be the foundation of your life. We die to our old selves and arise to a new way of being human. Walk out of the grave into sunlight and leave your brokenness behind. We are now light in darkness, shining, and the darkness will not overcome us. The fruit of the light consists in all goodness, righteousness, and truth. And this fruit brings healing to a hurting world. In a culture of selfishness and greed, of hatred and anger, the Father breathes life and brings light through his children, through you. Everything exposed by the light becomes visible and everything will one day be made new. So do not lose heart. Fix your eyes not on what is seen, but on what is unseen. Since what is seen is temporary, but what is unseen is eternal. Just as the sun rises faithfully each morning, new life is available to all of us. Sorrow may last for the darkness of night, but joy has come with the morning of resurrection. And joy brings new perspectives, to see hope in the hopeless, to see restoration in the defeated, to see beauty in broken pieces as they catch the light. The first light of morning brings promise. It's truly finished. The work of Jesus on the cross is eternal and irreversible. Leave your grave clothes behind. Your shackles have been broken. He's not left you in darkness, he's called you forth into the light.
Feel the warmth of the sun on your face as dawn breaks. Wake up, O sleeper. Rise from the dead and come out of your tomb, and Christ will shine on you. Resurrection life is on offer. Will you take it?